my mom always um, wanted me to be a teacher. And I thought that's, that's just amazing being a teacher. But um, I, I started to realize that this is something that is not mine. I was like, oh no, I, I don't like IT. I'm not that. I will be a businessman when I get older. And I was like hesitant about it because like I've never tried this thing and never heard about anyone doing these things. And that's where Technoration came and I saw why not, why not I take part and see what I'm gonna have. And, and that's what I did. I uh, took that challenge and I am really grateful for it. In these two years that passed from the Technovation, I've changed so many things, so I like tried myself in laboratory researches, at human rights organizations, I even tried, I even became like English teacher, so. Programming is not for nerds, it can be for uh, people who just want to solve problems in, in the world, who, who, who see the problem and want to help people. She understood that all IT items, IT applications or products should serve uh, to people to make their social life better with this application. And we have to spread this application in not only in Uzbekistan, but we want to spread it in Central Asia. Technovation uh, project provides us the good vision how we can make it. Like at the beginning, it's all fun. There is like cool seminars, you are having fun, but as you are approaching the end and you understand that you are not meeting deadlines, it becomes really tough. But uh, it, it also had a good skill because I learned how to not give up at the end. The reason why I, I was coming back um, every year is that uh, Technovation gave me the first real um, new experience that I wanted to feel every year. In the second year when I was thinking of taking part, I thought, yeah, I really want to take part because I'll, I'll be like, my life will be really boring without technovation. So, well, September? 2016, we in California, uh, San Francisco, um, visiting uh, our companies. We have spent a month, but at the same time, we were um, learning various programs, and we were thinking of, uh, of a program that we can implement in Uzbekistan. Uh, actually, I haven't thought that after this internship, we will be like. Uh, associating closely or working closely, but technovation, uh, there was uh, such a, a challenge that brought us together. And we, I understood that uh, we can do this project together, that we have good skills, each of us, we can complement each other and that will work. The program, Technovation program, was launched in Uzbekistan in 2016 and this program was um, brought by uh, TechWoman Fellows uh, Saida and Elena from Silicon Valley to Uzbekistan. So first year I participated as a mentor in this program, uh, it was, which was really a great experience for me. Uh, the second year I had the chance to participate as a judge and the third year uh, I had the chance to participate as a Technovation Ambassador. So, uh, first year, if the program um, was implemented mainly in Tashkent uh, region, later the program was expanded to other regions of Uzbekistan. Uh, for the first time, I have known about this program from my daughter. And she was uh, one of the first participant of Technovation. Uh, three years ago and I saw how big progress uh, this uh, program gave to her and from that time I have been a big fan of this program and I did my best to help this wonderful uh, team who do who doing so much for the girls of our country. Мы уже третий год поддерживаем Technovation Challenge проект. Для нас это 
как сказать, особый проект, где наши студенты, где наши студентки участвуют с удовольствием. So it was a challenge for us um, to adjust the program to the realities of Uzbekistan. So what we did, we redesigned a program for Uzbekistan uh, using available materials, online tools, and we have uh, 42 teams. It means 42 mobile applications um, solving um, social problems, solving the problems related to sustainable development goals. Uh, when I think about innovation, I, like, we have good results, we have great results, we have grown a lot and I'm very proud of it. Proud of our team, pro proud of our mentors, I'm thankful to them, and super proud of our girls. And when we come to Inha University, I know like almost every second or every third girl that comes, uh, like, that I can see in the classroom or in the hall, all of them are for innovation. And for me, that's also very rewarding. Uh, after this program, uh, they can participate in other programs and it's really helpful for their uh, future studies, careers. So we can also give other examples where the girls after Tech Woman program, they had other great achievements. What needs to be done more? Invest into the girls. Invest uh, into the Tech Innovation Challenge here in Uzbekistan. And this is the call for uh, international community, for international society, for the donor community in Uzbekistan. Please put your money, even though they are limited, but please put your money into this exercise and we will see the future of Uzbekistan in the bright colors. Uh, business does not receive any definite benefit from participation in programs such as Technovation, uh, but of course uh, it gains like knowledge, experience and talented and creative employees with whom they can work or even invest in their projects. Technovation uh, для меня, конечно, как я говорю, девочки тоже знают, что Technovation для меня особый проект. Я им всегда говорю, это трамплин для будущего. Like in several words, Technovation is about uh, showing girls opportunities of career and future connected with technologies. Technovation teaches very basic skills in tech, in IT, in coding, in business development. That's the reason why we all contribute to this initiative, because we believe in the power of tech, in the power of IET, and in the power of young girls and young women. Of course, it's about um, coding, entrepreneurship, but for me, Technovation is, uh, first of all, about critical thinking. What Technovation is all about, it's about thinking equal. Girls can do science, technology, engineering and maths as well. Build smart. Build in a way that tackles inequalities. Um, design in a way that addresses everyone's needs. Um, and innovate for change goes without saying that the Technovation Challenge is all about innovation. Often there are stereotypes that girls shouldn't get a good education and even work. The advantages of programming skills that they can work remotely and also pay a good attention for family. Uh, Technovation shows how you can study or uh, work and make good money. That is very important for a girl to make good money for her family and combine uh, her work with family responsibilities, with bringing up children, to educate children that are not afraid of technology. That is most, most important for me. After Technovation, I realized that I can achieve absolutely any task if I work hard on it and born with idea. I set myself high goals because everything is possible if I try. As I know, she's interested uh, to become a doctor and now uh, her aim to connect the medicine and IT. And I think this is a good idea, really. 
Well, Technovision was honestly just life-changing project for me. It promoted me to do more than I thought I can do. I taught a lot of things. Uh, I gained a lot of skills like design thinking, critical thinking, how I can be a problem solver in my community, in my community and how I can change not only myself but the problems in our society. Uh, as a mentor, uh, I gained some new skills for me and one of them was critical thinking. Uh, it's very important uh, because uh, it teaches us uh, to question everything and to consider everything from different angles. Uh, and I think this skill will be very helpful and useful in my future career and education. Um, the future is about robots and everyone should be prepared and learn programming so they can control robots and like make uh, make technology and improve the world. I was inspired. Uh, I was inspired by the creativity, the intelligence, and the dedication I saw in these girls and the really amazing solutions that they had developed. Вот психология возрастная такова, что им мало что они вот научились и они применили, допустим, и так далее. А им надо обязательно это кому-то передать, кому-то показать. Вот такие вот возрастные особенности психологии детей и молодежи у нас как раз таки вот в этой программе предусматривается. I was asking myself why I do technovation in Uzbekistan um, and I asked myself in the beginning and I have to say that uh, I'm a mom, what a mother can do uh, to, to give a chance to the kids, so to bring a program to the country so that all girls in the country or most of them can have uh, the same opportunities. To the girls that will be watching uh, this video, I would say that uh, please don't let anyone tell you that you cannot achieve your goals and achieve your dreams. Don't just stick to what you can do in school. Use the internet. Take online courses. Learn languages. Learn programming. Learn skills. My friendly advice to the girls and women of Uzbekistan would be please go to see other countries. Go to see other experiences. Go to see and meet different other people throughout the globe. Yeah, I would advise them to join and encourage them learning programming. So they would um, learn new stuff. Uh, firstly, you need to leave your comfort zone and try everything that gives you uh, to be part of one community, learn and meet new people. So education, education and more education. Around the world, including in my own country, the United States, girls are often not encouraged to enter science and technology fields as much as boys are. And I think this is really unfortunate, because what it takes to succeed in these fields is intelligence, creativity, critical thinking abilities, and anyone can have those skills. It doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl. Every child deserves the same opportunity and the same chance to create the future that they deserve. Я везде говорю, у нас хорошая молодежь, не надо на них это самое, очень хорошая. Надо просто найти то, что у них вот здесь и вот здесь. И вот техновейшн как раз таки то, что э, им интересно.